Hello everybody, this is Simone from Epica and you are watching Favorites on Life and Limbo. Well, being in Toronto first and second off, um, I met uh, one of my best friends who was Canadian, moved to Germany and moved back to C Canada. So it's awesome that I can also hook up with old friends again. So that's my favorite until now. <laughs> I think Dolce Delight, she's a Brazilian pastry chef which I also met yesterday because she lives in New York. <laughs> She's super creative, funny, talented, and I kind of recreated a lot of her recipes and everybody in the family is happy because of that, <laughs> including me. <laughs> that would be the Quantum Enigma, the album we are currently promoting. It's our sixth studio album and I just love everything about the record and it marks a special period in my life where I became a mother and... My whole life got turned upside down, and it's simply an awesome record. I have many favorites, and they vary um, at this moment, especially also live. I really love Unchained Utopia, which is from The Quantum Enigma. It's a very powerful song, great melodies, and has a cool drive, and it comes across live really, really cool. I have to say that I really admire Adele, she's a great singer, um, but unfortunately I'm not such a big fan of her latest record, I prefer the old work more. As far as for metal, I really like Opeth very much, they're, they're cool. I really like old theaters, as the one we are playing now today, uh, the Opera House in Toronto, but not especially the venues, but the the occasions, like our 10-year anniversary in, in the Netherlands, where we played with orchestra and choir, and it was like a real beautiful celebration. And also the fact that we we are still successful at what we're doing so many years after we started, and that was uh, definitely one of my highlights of all the shows. And of course, a couple of festivals, but. On the festival, you are one out of the many bands, and when you have a headline show, you know it's all really because they are they are there for you, and it's a very special feeling. <laughs> well, we we travel all around the world. I love to travel. I'm Dutch. I moved to Germany. I'm I'm happy wherever I am. So, but every time when we go to a country where we haven't been before, like Australia. Uh, or uh, Indonesia. This time we're going to New Zealand. So I think that's going to be then my future highlight. Of, I don't know. I, I really felt very at home in Australia. So I'm happy that we're going back there. The long flight will mean watching lots of movies because <laughs> it's the other side of the world. <laughs> you have to let go at a certain point. You're working with the producer that you hired and you trust to keep the sound of the band and to, uh, how do you say, keep everything uh, as a whole, to unite everything, you know. And s with certain records, if I listen to them now, I would think now oh, I would like to change this or that. And when is the music finished? When is, when is it perfect? Everybody has a different taste, different view and... Uh, that's that's a very hard thing to to let go and say the song's finished because we're six people all, all five guys write songs and then they're all working on the songs together but sometimes you just have a how do you say a, a different opinion different view on how the song structure should be and it's i guess that's a hard thing to let go but like i said before we have a producer he's the keeper of the sound and you know, we, we trust it. But, of course, we shouldn't always say yes and amen to what he does. But, um, yeah, I guess that's that's a big lesson which you always keep on learning with each record that you do, I think. Cook, play with makeup, photography, walking around in the forest, and most of all, spend time with my family, my son and my husband. Well, in the past, I, I used to pass around the microphone, like way in the beginning, until I, I thought, okay, this, 
we're having expensive microphones. <laughs> it would not be cool if they were, were to fall. So I stopped doing that. But I like it when I when I see a fan singing along to the songs that they know the songs and just that you see them that they're happy. It's just a wonderful feeling. And of course, uh, sometimes the guys shout certain body parts or whatever. Things can get really wild. Yesterday was also crowd surfing and people falling on the ground, and I was like, "Whoo!" I was a little bit scared. Glad that I wasn't in the audience because I'm not really built for withstanding mosh pits and stuff. But there were girls in the mosh pit, and they were also crowd surfing. I was like, yeah, you go, girl. I don't have the guts. <laughs> Sweet. Sweats. Relaxing. Cat. Country. I'm the only one on the period, so <laughs> I'm the only one mentally unstable for a couple of days. <laughs> no, no more... Not a lot of bitching, so I guess. Um, yeah, I, I would rather be st just with all guys than all girls. I have a son as well, so I'm, I'm surrounded by guys. So. Well, food and drinks are already there, I guess, because <laughs> I need, need to eat and drink. Um, sunscreen, su sunglasses, uh, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in certain countries, fans can get very excited and try to get into your hotel room. So, um, a couple years back, I, uh, it was three o'clock in the morning. I was kind of, you yeah, know, I was in my birth birthing suit. <laughs> I was about to jump in the shower, and somebody was in front of my door. And, and I saw that the person was wearing an Epica t-shirt. And I was like, I'm sorry, I can't open the door. I'm about to go to the shower. And it was three in the morning. I was already a little pissed, you know, to be disturbed at that time. Uh, and at nine o'clock in the morning, the same guy was in front of my hotel room again. And I was like, dude, I just got six hours of sleep. And he had to be escorted out of the hotel. So he was a little over enthusiastic. Well, yesterday, for example, I, I always look, I always have eye contact with many fans and then you see that they're singing along the lyrics and I try to think back of when I I was a super fan of many bands and I knew all their lyrics and the thought that they connect to me in a way how I connected back then to other artists is a, is a beautifully weird feeling, very honored by that. And you see the happy faces and you know that they connect to the music and especially when people come up and tell you that they, the music made, made them stronger, it guided them through through life. And yesterday in New York, a, a woman came up to me and she, she grabbed me and I was a little bit like, oh, what's going to happen? And she's like, um, she could be my mother. She was, a, a, she was like cuddling up to me and telling me I had a very bad car accident. I broke my neck and your music made me stronger and pulled me through. And I was about to cry. I felt so, so... Uh, happy that we were able to do that you know it's we write the music because the melodies are in our head we come together and we create the record but that you uh, do so much more than that without that being the intention that's just amazing <laughs>